Welcome to part two. Sorry about that. The last part was kind of rushed. So we will do them individually again. Um, so First we have Starscream. And Starscream, like I rushed through his thing. But yes, he does have these heels. And uh, he has posable arms and legs. He comes with arm-mounted guns that do this. So he's okay. Definitely one of my favorites in the whole class, and uh, he stands really well. Next up, we got Hot Rod, and he has an axe, or is this a bow? I don't know. His legs are kind of sad. I don't really like them that much. Um, his torso and upper body is okay. His headpiece is good. His arms are kind of awkward. I don't know. This is definitely one of my least favorite Hot Rods. But his vehicle mode is going to be much better. Then we got Bumblebee, and Bumblebee is just perfect. Like, he comes with his little gun, and then um, he has his uh, wheels, which roll. And uh, he has some posable feet. Yeah, he's just a really good figure. And his head mold is amazing. Definitely one of my favorite characters in the set. Next, we got Power Glide. You know, you don't see these that often, Power Glide figures. So, uh, this is a nice find. He comes with guns, two of them, and uh, he dual wields them. And uh, his face mold is good. Um, his lower body and uh, his torso is kind of plain. But overall, it gets the job done for Power Glide. And his, he's a pretty wobbly figure. Like, uh it's okay. And last but not least, we have Mighty Megatron, and, well, they got the job done. But, the Decepticon logo is missing, but you understand, it's alternation, man, not the Transformers. And, uh, there's his headpiece, he's, is that, are those lips? And then, um, you got some pretty good detail on the arms and hips, a lot better than Optimus, I think. And his legs, too. Yeah, they got a lot of design done for Megatron, other than the Decepticon logo, but, yeah. Now, in the next one, we're going to show their vehicle modes. Oh. I don't know. Starscream, did you do this? 